The headline announcement at the Apple 8th of March event was the arrival of one last chip to be added to the M1 family. The M1 Ultra is essentially two M1 Max chips smooshed together uh, to form one giant chip. This new chip could potentially be the most powerful CPU and also the most powerful graphics processor to be found inside of any desktop personal computer in the world today. Now, the approach that uh, Apple have taken is to try to connect together two of their most powerful chips, the M1 Max, using a high bandwidth interconnect. This avoids the problems of increased latency, increased power consumption and reduced bandwidth that could be found in a situation where you link two CPUs via the motherboard. By scaling the M1 Max using a die-to-die -die interconnect, this doubles the performance of the M1 Max chip to produce the M1 Ultra, a low latency, highly power efficient chip with massive bandwidth. Up to one, 128 gigabytes of unified memory is available. And this is all done, of course, by doubling the performance of the M1 Max. The performance is said to beat that of the fastest Core i9 12th gen Intel CPU in multi-threaded performance at a fraction of the power draw. And the M1 Ultra beats the NVIDIA RTX 3090, arguably the most powerful GPU right now, at a fraction again of the power draw. Now that's pretty amazing. Their architecture also allows existing software to work straight out of the box with the new equipment without any further development. The new chip is designed to power a new desktop computer, which is going to be added to the lineup of the new iMac and Mac Mini. This guy is called the Mac Studio. And this bad boy is designed for performance, modularity, and as we shall see, connectivity. In their presentation, Apple make it clear that this is not just a computer for designers and artists. Uh, and with Apple's flair for creating machines that are halfway between standard desktops and workstations, the Mac Studio is really designed for anyone who needs a powerful and efficient system. This one is designed for the professionals. The design is pretty incredible. A small aluminium box which draws air in at the base and exhausts the air to the rear. This will cool down the machine, which in any case is said to be super quiet most of the time. And that is actually believable given the performance of most of Apple's uh, devices. And also it's pretty amazing if true, given just how powerful the device is. Now for this very small box, there is a ton of connectivity. There are four, four Thunderbolt 4 ports, one 10 gigabit Ethernet connector, an HDMI port, Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth. And there's also a pro audio jack for high impedance headphones and ex external amplified speakers. Front connectivity includes two USB-C ports for the M1 Max version. There is also an M1 Ultra version, which will contain two extra Thunderbolt ports. All of them will also come with an SD card reader. Now, the system can power up to four 5K monitors and on top of that, also a 4K TV. When we take a look at the comparisons with the existing uh, Macs, this one comes in at two and a half times faster than the iMac Pro, 50% faster than the 16 core Mac Pro. And when it comes to graphics, the graphics are three times faster than the iMac and also three times faster, more than three times faster than the most popular configuration of the Mac Pro. And that's just the M1 Max version. When it comes to the M1 Ultra version, nearly four times faster than the iMac and 60% faster than the 28 core Mac Pro. And in terms of graphics, it is up to 80% faster than than the best existing graphics on the Mac Pro. And then we can complete that with the uh, competition beating 128 gigabytes of unified memory. Now, all in all, that is a pretty impressive lineup. And what I find particularly cool about this is that you've got in this package, the M1 Max one will be 
1999 and the m1 ultra would be twice that it'll be four thousand dollars you've got the ability to put together a pc which would be more powerful than the existing windows pcs and if you want to you can get a graphics processor that is more powerful than the most powerful nvidia graphics processor according to apple without having to endure all the problems with the massive price hikes that we're seeing in the graphics in the discrete graphics processing industry so this is really nice competition coming in from apple and if you look at how small this device is it has i did a very quick check it has more actually useful connectivity than my desktop pc here so this is one really special piece of equipment and i think a lot of people who might be a little bit in despair particularly with the whole situation with the uh, graphics cards on the windows platform might just have an escape route if that problem were to recur next year uh, without any meaningful attempt to address it by either AMD or Nvidia. So that's great news for the consumer. Look, I think there's gonna be a lot of discussion about this new announcement and I'm really looking forward to the reviews. And one thing perhaps we don't mention quite as much as we should, the 1000 kilowatt hours of energy savings that Apple quote against the most powerful desktop PCs, that saving could amount to say, maybe a couple of thousand of dollars worth of savings on energy costs over a period of five years. That's something to take into account and could really help you in making your decision as to where you want to go when you purchase your next upgrade. I've already made a video about the studio display which accompanies these new uh, computers. I'll have a link to that in the description. And there was also one further announcement which was made by Apple which is that there's going to be some kind of announcement about the Mac Pro, a new Mac Pro coming fairly soon. That's going to be worth waiting for.